Brian Tao, age 17, class of 2021, from Clovis, California, Clovis East High School. Here's what sticking to the uh, eye kick philosophy uh, is doing to Brian Tao, age 17, class of 2021, from Clovis, California, Clovis East High School. All right, Brian, man, this looks like a pretty good ball. So uh, starting off, make sure you get your steps in the video and also begin getting some different angles, uh, like prop your phone up like on uh, like a T, like on sides and in front, like a video uh, so I can get some different angles so I can see more of, uh, you know, your full, um, how do I put this, Your uh, just your overall full uh, kick uh, i don't know how to explain it but you know just everything to the t in detail um having all those angles helps me a ton um so anyway moving forward you hit a pretty good ball right here um looks like you're uh maybe on the ground yeah it looks like you're on the ground uh for sure you wrapped around a little bit too much i can tell that already we'll get into it more but i'm just saying this while i while i uh while i see it um as you can tell you wrapped around gosh So whenever your toe is literally around and wrapped around this ball and you still hit it straight, that means that uh, something else is off because you had to, uh, you had to um, 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 go around it and, uh, and wrap around it to hit your, to hit your straight ball, which, uh, Whenever everything is, uh, you know, as it should be, you're not, uh, you should not have to uh, wrap around to hit your ball straight. You should be hitting, uh, you know, you should not be wrapping and hitting, uh, hitting a perfect ball, and that be your ball, uh, not a wrap ball. So, moving forward. Looks like you're moving a little bit too much uh, whenever you're uh, back here. As you can see, you move your arms here. That moves you a little bit. No matter what, like, it, it's small margins, but you, you wouldn't believe how much it matters. You move your arms about two times. Try to minimize that. Okay, we go with the stutter step. Let's see this. Up. And down. That's better, Brian. That's better, man. It's not that huge lunge anymore, man. It's not that huge lunge anymore. That's much better. Like I said, that up, down, if you're going to use that um, stutter, like I said, man, and uh, that is much better. As you can see, it's still a little bit like a, like a little baby step. You know what I'm saying, Brian? But, man, that is much, much better of just using that stutter to get you started, but also uh, not using it as a huge lunge or, like, a third uh, or fourth step, whatever uh, step it is for you. So, 
going on. You step up, down, boom, you hit your stutter. Looks like you start your momentum a little bit too late. Right here, your momentum, like when you're attacking the ball, it should be, it. you should be like that right whenever your stutter uh, hits the ground and you're going into your next step. As you can see, you're standing straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. You hit the ground and then, okay, you got to try to uh, get in the zone and uh, then accelerate and power forward. Rather than don't stand straight up, straight up, and don't get lazy on me or anything. Don't stand straight up. Uh, stay, in, stay in that moment. Stay uh, like you're going to go through that ball and power through it like you, uh, like you were attacking it uh, a little bit too late. But you uh, started attacking it well right here. Um, but just a little bit too late, as you can tell and uh, understand and catch my drift. Um, any questions on that, this is uh, 5 minutes, 45 seconds in. So, any questions on that, just let me know, my boy. Uh, Alright, moving forward. By the way, this is uh, Bryant Theo. He is uh, one of the leaders of the trainees and I kick as he's extremely loyal, extremely hardworking, and man, he just he just wants to get better. And uh, I I really I really respect the kid. I respect his game. I respect his hustle. And um, he really he really deserves this uh, you know this I. And uh, I hope I hope it gets him uh, many more from you. So moving on. He's uh, he's he's uh, coachable. Let's just say that to all coaches and everything. He's very coachable, and he uh, he he will change in what you tell him to do if uh, if he has to. So going forward, I'm just saying that just on that just on I could tell just by that stutter how much we fixed that. But uh, a couple more problems. But anyway, okay, we'll go where we were. Boom. Okay, you started attacking. You're standing a little bit too straight up right here still. You should be a little bit more, you know, uh, down and almost barreled. I don't know, it's not fully like barreled, crunched over, but uh, a little bit more momentum down-wise. You're standing a little bit too straight up for me, for my liking. Uh, would like you, you know, in a little bit of more of an athletic, athletic stance. Uh, you know, shoulder width, like you have your legs here, um, shoulder width apart, but just a little squatting down a little bit uh, here, maybe more, a little bit more. That would help a ton. Okay. So you hit, hit from your stutter, and your second step, it is not in line as it should be with going to where you want uh, your plant foot um, your stutter step you took it um, you took it out so your toe was facing this way and you opened yourself up with your stutter step which is not what you want to do you want to keep yourself on that straight line with your stutter and keep it with moment and use it as momentum not as not opening you up so you have to then your second step watch this boom you have to literally go right, and your second step is like you—you're pretty much zigzagging. Like your uh, your stutter step went this way, and then so you had to make up for it. Your next step, you had to lunge and go uh, go right, uh, like this, where your foot is right here. It's not in line. It is uh, right, and you did go side to side right here because your stutter step was facing out. Um, as we could tell, and it then uh, brought your it then immediately had your hips open and everything from the start. So moving forward, um, pretty good synchronization of uh, balance arms here. Pretty good balance arm, uh, balance arms positions. Uh, I would like the plant a little deeper. Um, as you can tell, you are way too close to this ball. You are way, way, way too cramped into this, as you can tell. 
um, you need to be getting at least uh, like a f one of your feet uh, and a half, like, sorry about that, one and a half of your feet, uh, like in between that, uh, for your plant foot, in between uh, your ball. Um, if, it, if you are off the ground right here, do maybe even a little more um, and for sure deeper. But um, anyway, as you can tell, your hips are open as they were. Uh, from the beginning and that is what uh, has you um, wrapping around facing this way and having to wrap around the ball with your uh, foot because your approach was wrong so you had to wrap around the ball and make up for it with your kick and your foot so you took away all your momentum and all of this like all your steps meant nothing they pretty much just hurt you and you had to then just make make do and and just pretty much use your foot to try to get power but you don't have anything behind this because all you're using is your foot because you're having to finesse it like you're trying to you know put a put a soccer ball uh, in t90 in the top corner like um uh, it isn't like that you um you should be progressing forward with your uh, technique and kick every single time and be hitting the ball uh, at the same place of your foot and on the same place of the ball every single time, not wrapping. As you can see, your toe here wrapping around uh, the ball to get you to uh, instinctively uh, because uh, if not you would not have been able to hit this ball anywhere close to straight if you did not wrap around to hit it back this way you were so opened up you would have hit it direct like you would have pushed it so far right it would it would have been unbelievable um you were also uh also really really uh screwed because of that cluster as i said Look how close and everything. Look how close you are and everything is. Your like your uh, your plant foot needs to be deeper. But I mean, just look how close everything is. It looks like you're about to trip over yourself. Um, going forward, of course, you see you drag your foot a little bit. It hits the ground before and you wrap. Um, and then um, after you wrap, because your body was fully facing that way right after you skip to try to uh you know slow yourself back down you of course end up fully on the other side as you did before you had to zigzag like you remember you had to because your stutter step was out you had to go that right with your next step which is a no-no we want to just go straight 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 with all of them so as you could tell you had to go back zigzag you were fit you were you're uh hips and all were open facing this way you kicked so then to literally stay like keep balance after you uh skipped you then had the zigzag back and then all your momentum and everything is going pretty much left and like this way as you could tell where your foot's going and uh, you you really you're trying hard to get <laughs> to get back uh, straight and it's it's not it's not horrible but as you can tell there are a few things we need to work on and uh, and talk about and uh, all questions for any of this please 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 we need to uh, we need to talk about it so going on boom 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 um, after you skip you should continue walking forward um, and as you could tell you end up here. Um, fully clustered you want to keep on walking forward so you don't end up like this uh, just stuck right here and having your momentum stopped you have everything stopped right here when you still could be pushing forward and having momentum going forward um with a uh with uh, the correct uh uh approach so bryant that's a uh, that's a few things uh, i know it was kind of a lot um questions everything just get to me you know you know it we talk we zoom we zoom call we uh we we could do we could do everything brother uh gonna be ramping up all the zoom calls and everything again real real soon everyone uh stay tuned this is bryant theo one of my most loyal young 
prodigies that I really, really, really have a bright future in mind for. Um, and uh, thanks, guys. Much love. I kick out.